Knowing Your Rights as an Indiana Renter. This video is not a substitute for professional legal advice. This video does not create an attorney-client relationship, nor is it a solicitation to offer legal advice but for education purposes only. This video was produced in June 2021. Laws change, and it is important to talk with an attorney about how current laws may affect your case. Hello, and welcome to the short video series, Knowing Your Rights as an Indiana Renter. In this video, you will learn more about housing discrimination. Equal access to rental housing and home ownership opportunities are the cornerstones of our nation's federal housing policy. Federal civil rights laws, such as the Fair Housing Act, prohibit discrimination and the intimidation of people in nearly all housing transactions, including rental and sale of housing and the distribution of mortgage loans. Housing providers who refuse to rent or sell homes to people based on race, color, national origin, religion, sex, familial status, or disability are in violation of federal law. Indiana also has its own Fair Housing Act, which closely mirrors that of the federal law. Some counties, including Marion County, may extend protections to additional groups prohibiting discrimination on the basis of ancestry, age, sexual orientation, or an individual's military veteran status. Housing providers may not take any of the following actions based on an individual's protected class status. Refusing to rent or sell housing. Refusing to make a mortgage loan. Making housing unavailable. Denying any person membership or access to a neighborhood clubhouse. Denying reasonable accommodations or modifications unless the housing provider will suffer undue hardship. Or advertising or making any statement that indicates a limitation or preference based on race, religion, or any other protected category. Here are a few real case examples which may indicate that a housing provider is engaging in unlawful housing discrimination. Housing providers putting up advertisements or signs which state no children, no minorities, or Hispanics need not apply. A property management company requiring Muslims to pay for criminal background checks, but not requiring the same for applicants of other religions, races, or nationalities. The Fair Housing Act also extends limited protections to two carefully defined groups. People recovering from alcohol abuse who are actively and regularly participating in medically-based treatment or a 12-step program. And people recovering from substance abuse, including those who have prior convictions for illegal drug use. This protection does not apply to those who have convictions for drug dealing or manufacturing. If you believe your rights have been violated, you may file a complaint online or in writing to the Department of Housing and Urban Development or your local Fair Housing Center. You can also make a complaint to the Indiana Civil Rights Commission. There are some exemptions when not every situation is covered by the Fair Housing Laws. You should contact an attorney for clarification. Thanks for watching and learning more about housing discrimination. Be sure to check out the other videos in the Knowing Your Rights as an Indiana Renter series. Videos are available on protecting yourself from eviction, understanding your lease agreement, your right to safe and clean housing, and reasonable accommodations and modifications. This video is not a substitute for professional legal advice. This video does not create an attorney-client relationship nor is it a solicitation to offer legal advice but for education purposes only. This video was produced in June 2021. Laws change, and it is important to talk with an attorney about how current laws may affect your case. Many resources on this housing topic and others are available at www.in.gov slash courts, www.indianalegalservices.org and www.eskenazihealth.edu slash medical-legal-partnership. Knowing Your Rights as an Indiana Renter video series sponsored by Eskenazi Health Foundation.